Welcome back to the Stormblood Stream Fest Never Ending <laughs> Depressed Gaming Stream. We're back! Uh and uh Alright, we're gonna go all the way to the end. Oh well, I love the story. Well, we'll try. I'm pretty sure we can do it. The heroes of the hour. Not content with securing the residential district, you gifted me an Imperial commander. What are you after, a medal? The work is its own reward, General. I must say, however, that Fordola's claims were not a little disturbing. What manner of power could Xenos have acquired that might equal an icon? Might she speak of our missing Omega? Very possibly. The Empire's fondness for comparable Alagon technologies is exceedingly well documented. Have we made any progress with our own investigation? <gasps> None. The search goes on in earnest, but Sid has thus far found nothing of note. Mayhap the Galleons beat us to it. If they were working desperately to repair the machine, that might explain their decision to remain within their walls. Hmm. Ah, oh, Lise. I trust you surrendered Fordola into custody without incident. We were just discussing the Pilus's claims. About Xenos and his newfound powers. She hasn't said a word on the subject since we rescued Kryle. Even when the interrogator asked nicely. Mayhap I can offer some insight into her claims. Or at least into the facility and the experiments they conducted during my time there. Though my memories of the period are somewhat muddled, there are a few things I remember with painful clarity. Thancred told us only that Fordola had undergone some manner of treatment. Yes. It is a place wholly dedicated to the creation of enhanced beings, whom they refer to as the Resonant. As I understand it, the process aims to imbue a test subject with the qualities of an individual with demonstrated magical aptitude. This entails... This entails the mechanical extraction and transfusion of some manner of primordial essence. So that's how Fordola improved so fast. I knew there had to be something. She wasn't half as strong or quick to predict my attacks when we first met. If it weren't for Orianja's siphon thingy, I really don't think we'd have beaten her. My humble scheme asked far more in the execution than it required in the conception, I do assure thee. You had me. Oh, you've got to stop doing that. In calling upon Lady Alizé after her defeat, I was most intrigued to learn of the apparent effortlessness with which Fordola countered her attacks. T'was as if she knew the blade's destination ere its journey began. A most impressive feat under any circumstances, but an almost miraculous one when considered in the context of Fordola's unfamiliarity with my lady's arts. How then could she so perfectly predict an unknown opponent's every move? After much deliberation, I surmise that Fordola may be possessed of a preternatural ability to divine meaning from the fluctuations of an individual's ether and to instinctively react. To employ a metaphor, one might say that she was attuned to the whispers of my lady Alice's soul. Just like in uh, that Kenshin manga. I don't remember the name, but like the officer character only has like one move, fights against this guy with a turtle shield that's blind. 
And, and, and the third old shield guy predicts the other guy's moves by hearing his like bones contract. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> Wait. Have you not just described a manifestation of the Echo? I had no conclusive proof. The available anecdotal evidence suggested only that Fordola was uncommonly sensitive to etheric fluctuations, and twas this which led me to develop my strategy. I would fashion a device with the capacity to generate a massive disruption in the surrounding ether. If, as I suspected, Fordola's senses were indeed questing for the most minor of oscillations, the shock of exposure to a more amplitudinous etheric waveform would be akin to a debilitating bout of ether sickness. How ingenious. I note that the success of your plan hinged on your device's wielder remaining ignorant of its purpose, lest Fordola divine your intent. Indeed so, Master Alfino. All things considered, twas a most fortuitous outcome. That's putting it mildly. In any event, if Urianje is correct, that would mean these resonant have been granted the power of the Echo via artificial means. Aye, aye, aye. A sobering thought, to say the least, and one which makes me wonder what else Xenos has in store. Maybe Xenos has been like crafting ether crystals into himself, and that's why he always wears the armor. Whatever the Viceroy's newfound powers, I know of none better equipped to face him. And face him you must, for there is now but one path forward, and it leads straight to Alamigo. And it's not as if we came unprepared. We've got all our friends and allies fighting for the same thing. Honestly, right now I feel like we could take on anyone and win. And I mean anyone. Oh, I me. Enough talking! All right, all right, I get the message. Action <laughs> is what's needed now. <laughs> right, I'd best get back to the residential district. Thancred and the resistance forces are waiting. It is time we join the main host. Kryle, in light of your recent ordeal, might I suggest that you remain with the rear guard for now? Oh, if you insist. Just this once. Forces are in position. I speak with the other commander. Oh, they reacted to me moving there. Oh. These cannons fell enough ships to fill uh, the 
fliegt. Gotta get to 70. Looks like I got a couple of quests I can do though. Okay. Fish. Swim. Swim like a fish to find someone else. up a couple of nasty wavekin. Okay. Hunted by restless shades. Ay -ay -ay. some undead. There's some zoo nestling. I kill some birds. Alright, don't be too hard. Right, I still still have fast mount speed in here, so I need to climb all the way back here to get it. Yeah. So we're gonna go around like this. Get some ether currents. Oh, what is that? Kaluk. Oh, you're still late. Right? No, I'm just only under it. Over here. Just run around the long way here. Just run around. <laughs> just, just ran in a circle for no reason. I'm still discovering new stuff here. Very, very first, ever, the very start of the expansion, I mentioned how I like desert zones.
Uh, this expansion has given me uh, all of them. A lot of desert. Northwest. Let's get back up this. That's a B rank. This thing must be past these gates here somewhere. Right around here. Gonna go through this one. This one. A lot of tree, tree monsters too. It's expansion. Well, I've seen two, but that is a lot to me. It was only one type of tree monster. Like the trees with four arms, and they reused it a lot. Well, before. Really enjoyed the uh, all the variants. Well, not all the variants, but all the designs. Expansion. Oh, there it is. Right there. Looks like I gotta jump down for it though. Am I gonna come down? Oh, there it is. Oh. Did I get it? I didn't. Under? Oh, it's gonna be to the top here. Okay. I think still come. over here probably over there can I get there I'm 
Hmm. We have to like go all the way around this. I'm up there. Sure. Okay, right, let's let's do the fishing one right. Well, swimming one right there. under the bridge. Okay. Captured. Must be down below. Alright. Let's go see what's under here. It really is like a whole castle submerged. That suspicious creep. I'm not sure why I want to know what's over here. Looks like there's a lot of things to discover under here. I haven't, I haven't commented on it. I think the swimming like animation, not the, uh, not directly the swimming animations, but the transitions between diving and from swimming to walking on land, they're like really, really well done. At least for uh, the the hero race. Found some treasure. I'm not sure how to go over here. Maybe it is the long way around.
Minotaurs. Bud Owl. Bud the Owl. Song of King, Song of Kings. We get cemetery looks like graveyard. Catacombs. Massive zone. The final zone. Really, really massive. This might be a zone that I can't go yet. Not until I have uh, flying. Check it out. Six P. Whoa! That's some, uh, some luck. Put a six P fade right here. You can do that really quick. Continue on with our questing. Look, we're gonna kill some uh, plants. Members of the locks look to the region's many bees and butterflies to help pollinate their meager crops. 
Priya looks to the same creatures to fill their fathomless bellies. But the Sapria is not that satisfying in a salad. Small folk have asked that you save the bees instead. Okay, so it's just killing these uh, plant mobs, salt saprias. They're pretty weak, so. Right as I put it, some poison. I hurt as like that hurt like hell. Can't do anything about it. So. More than halfway done. I'm only, need, I'm only gonna need four more. It's like four. Away from the butterfly. 
place. Just in case, you may want to slay those Abaddons. Butterflies are tough, though. probably the toughest, uh, toughest NPCs I've had to defend all of the expansion. about 200,000 XP from that, so a small step towards level 70. <laughs> 